Every software application is different and has its own idiosyncrasies when it comes to drawing and painting. In this movie, you'll experiment with a few brushes and settings so that you become familiar painting in After Effects. Now, the project I have open is Motion Design Paint CS55. If you're working with CS5 or CS4, you can open up the other project without the CS55 suffix. And you can find both of those projects in Project Files Motion Design Wacom folder. Now we're in 01 Graffiti Background Start. We're not going to do anything too advanced at the moment. We're just going to play with the brushes and get comfortable with them. So I want you to double click the black solid layer to open up the layer panel and then go to the Paint Workspace so that you have a similar um, workspace to what I have here. I've got a very limited um, amount of space, so I'm going to drag my brushes panel down here and place it alongside the timeline, which just gives me a little bit more leeway. Now, I've also set up some of the buttons, express keys on my Wacom tablet here. You'll see I've set up the top one to maximise a panel so that when I hover over this panel here, I can click on maximise just to maximise it. And you do that by mapping the accent key to the maximise express key. So the other thing that we're going to do is just choose the brush tool and command B is the keyboard shortcut for that or control B on Windows. Now, of course, you could map that to one of your keys as well. Now, when we're in the layer panel, we may want to resize our brush. So to resize your brush, you can hold down the command key and the express keys are already set up with the command key down here. So I can use that to resize my brush. Now you want to start with a fairly soft 17 pixel brush. We're going to actually take the hardness up a little bit, maybe to around about 60%. And then we're going to maximise our display. Uh, we're going to also choose a colour. So let's choose a bright red colour in our paint options. And we're going to choose a normal brush mode. So make sure your brush mode is on normal. And all we're going to do is maximise the frame, make sure we're at 100% and then start to paint. And all I want you to do is just with one paint stroke, fill roughly this area in the middle. Now, don't worry if you're getting some spaces in the lines. We want this to have a hand-drawn look, so you want it to be quite rough like that. OK, if we hit the maximise button again, we come out and if we open up the black solid layer, you'll see in effects we now have a paint stroke. And this is our paint stroke here, brush one. What we're going to do now is we're going to create another paint stroke. But this time we're going to adjust the hardness. So we're going to make it even harder. And we're going to choose the difference mode. And the reason we're doing that is just to create a little bit of an edge where the paint meets and that creates a kind of like the edges that you get when two colours meet when you're using kind of spray paint. I want to create a kind of graffiti look here. So that's the look I'm going for. So we're going to choose a darker colour, a slightly darker red colour. And again, I'm going to maximise my frame and just start to paint over. And you'll see that as we overlap, we get this really nice blending effect where the two colours blend together. And it gives us that kind of graffiti-ish kind of look. OK, and then we're going to come out again. And we're going to choose another darker red. And again, maximise the frame and just paint in this area here. OK. So with a few paint strokes, we can create quite a nice background for animation. So I can continue to paint on here. Um, I'm just going to come out of here again and I'm going to choose a lighter colour this time. And this time I'm going to try experimenting with some different modes. So I'm just going to randomly choose some modes, go over here and just start painting. And starting to build up kind of layers of paint. Now just be aware that every time you create a paint stroke, it appears as a different layer down here in the timeline. And we can actually switch those on and off to see how it looks layer upon layer of paint. So the paint is being layered on top of the other layers of paint. It's quite an exciting way to work. And you can also change the modes after they've been painted. So you can actually experiment with trying out some different blending modes on the paint after it's been painted. OK, so again, we can continue with that. So I could go and choose another colour, maybe a, a pinker, kind of lighter 
red. This time I'm going to choose something like hard light. And let's just soften the brush up a little bit more. So we'll bring the softness down and just maximise our frame and paint again. Now we can also change these properties after they've been painted. So if I want to, I could zoom out a little bit so we can see our paint. And I can open up the brush and maybe decide that I want to make that softer. I've changed my mind. So I can soften the brush and also adjust the diameter of the brush after it's been painted. So a very, very flexible way of working. You can change the properties before or after you paint and start to build up these really interesting textured backgrounds by combining layers of paint and different blending modes together. Okay, so what I want you to do is just experiment with what you've learnt here and try and build up some nice textured backgrounds. You may not want to necessarily use the same effect that I've used here, but I want you to experiment with different colours, different modes and different brush properties till you get more comfortable with using the brushes in After Effects.